Hello Libra, it's Maria, InsightfulAstrology.com, and welcome to February. Guys, hmm, I gotta say, if you are into the whole Valentine's Day thing, you're probably not going to be disappointed. No, not this month. You've got some really juicy energy in the love department, okay? And like mentally satisfying energy too, I have to say. We begin with this beautiful new moon in Aquarius that is going to land in your fifth house on the fourth. The fifth house is the area of your chart that connects to romance, children, creative self-expression. So if you are single, completely single, the new moon here will stimulate opportunity for you to meet somebody new. But obviously, you can't meet someone sitting on your couch. Unless, you know, unless you're like me. And <laughs> funny true story. It was New Year's Eve. This past New Year's Eve. I was having a New Year's Eve party. And um, my sink broke. And I, had, and I had, I don't know, 17 people that were coming over that night for the New Year's Eve party. And so I had to get a plumber. And my plumber, my normal plumber, couldn't help me. And he's like, I'm sorry, Maria, you're going to have to call someone else this time, blah, blah, blah. Like, Great. So I had to just go online and I, and I had to I call two different plumbers and it was a holiday. Nobody can come. And then finally I get this plumber uh, service to come. And I'm like, please, I'm having a party. I, my kitchen sink needs to work. So the two plumbers come to the house and um, one of them ended up asking me out on a date. And so, I mean, it's the funniest thing in the world because I always tell everybody, you're not going to meet somebody just sitting in your house. And I literally met somebody just sitting in my house, but I didn't date him. It, nothing ever happened, but it's just, I don't know. I don't know why I shared that story it was because I told you to get out of the house. Now watch, half of you Libras are going to be home and you're still going to meet someone because you have the new moon in your fifth house. And this is a love lunation. It is an opportunity for you to meet someone new. And I really want you to take advantage of it. Now, if you are already with somebody, this can stimulate fertility and maybe baby making if you're interested in having a baby. It can also be about you launching a new creative endeavor that is really fulfilling to you, something that really, really brings you joy. That's something you want to start at this new moon. Now, there is an intellectual component to it because the new moon is next to Mercury, which is also in Aquarius, also in your fifth house. This is a really nerdy, smart lunation, okay? It's next to Mercury in Aquarius. It's connected well to Jupiter, expanding the intellect in your third house of communication. It is also at a really nice angle to Mars in your partnership sector. So that means if you are with somebody, the conversations that you have now are going to be very intellectually stimulating. You might work on an idea or an invention or something something really cool with a partner that's all about the mind and it will serve you well. You're, you'll be really good at making decisions as a team after this lunation. So if you're with somebody and you have an important decision to make together, I don't care what it's about. Do it after this new moon. You'll, you'll both be in complete mental genius, brilliance agreement. Okay. So now that's the new moon. There's also, other energy that is about sudden changes in partnership. I don't see it as bad. I see it as really exciting. And this is why I'm saying you guys are going to have some Valentine's Day. <laughs> On the 13th, Mars will be conjunct Uranus. Both of these planets are at the 29th degree of Aries and in your seventh house of relationship. And these two planets together are really it's like lighting a match to something. It is setting something on fire in your life. And that is your relationship because it's in your seventh house. I see it as an exciting fire, a passionate fire, a sudden opportunity to you know, burn that flame. Not necessarily to burn your relationship to the ground, okay? But there is a level of impulsivity here. Your partner might do something that's totally crazy, that really turns you on. I actually get that very strong for you guys. I feel that you're going to be very turned on and stimulated by this. You're not going to be put off by it. I, that's just my sense of it. Of course, I could be wrong. You'll have to let me know. 
I think this is really exciting for you though. And the very next day, Mars is going to leave your partnership sector on the 14th, on Valentine's Day, and go into your eighth house, which is the house of intimacy and other people's money, including your partner's money. And Mars remains here until March 31st. So you're going to have an energy taking over Libra that is really practically applying a no-nonsense no approach to your finances. It's a very strong energy for financial empowerment and uh, kind of stability because Mars and Taurus is a very slow, steady dog with a bone energy and you're applying the dog with a bone energy now in your finances, your financial empowerment. So that is going on for you. This can also stimulate your sex life because the eighth house is a sexual house. The fifth and the eighth houses are sexual houses. The eighth house is more about intimacy and sex. It's committed sex that you have with a partner that you're exclusive with. And this is another reason why this Valentine's Day area of time for you is very lit up and very exciting. See, you got that new moon, you got Mars conjunct Uranus, and then Mars goes right into Taurus. It's, it's like boom, 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 boom. Lots of boom. And then we need to talk about your home life. I'm not going to lie. Recently, for a lot of you, your home and family life has been a shit show. I mean, you guys have the two toughest planets right now moving through your fourth house. This is no easy thing to deal with. Saturn and Pluto together in your home and family sector. It is bringing wrecking ball energy to your family life as you have known it for God knows how long, okay? And I know you're exhausted. I know no matter how hard you try to keep the peace and, you know, keep things nice in your family life, it's just like wrecking ball, punching ball, boom, crash. Something else is falling apart. I, you know, that, uh, you know, I see rocks and a mountain and the whole the rocks keep falling what is that? Avalanche. It's constant avalanches in your family life with Saturn and Pluto. Okay. But Libra, your ruling planet Venus is going into your home and family sector on the third of this month and remains there until March 1st. So there is some kind of break to the fall, softening of the edges, something calmer, not, it's not that any, all the crisis situations that you've been dealing with are suddenly rosy and beautiful, but there is something about it that is not as harsh and abrasive for most of this month because Venus is around. And you can really use this energy successfully in a home renovation project because this is Capricorn, so this is building. Uh, you might put money into your home or spend money at home. Between the 18th and the 22nd, Venus is going to align first with Saturn and then with Pluto. Exact conjunctions in your fourth house. So there is an ability for you to collaborate with somebody in your family and try to work on fixing a situation, a solution that can help you build a new foundation. And there's an intense dedication that you have to your family right now with this. Venus conjunct Pluto is obsessive energy, but it is mastering deep love, deep love, along with deep commitment because that's Venus Saturn. So there is deep love, deep commitment with you and your family and whatever family situation you're going through to get through to the other side. And I love that for you guys because I know family life has not been easy for you. And I love seeing this. because Even though it might not feel like a break and total relief, oh, it's like, you know what? I'm not giving up on you. I'm not giving up on my family. We're going to stick together. We're going to get through this. We're going to fix this. We're going to figure it out. We're going to see the other side. And you will. You will. And in February, you'll feel that. That's beautiful. Oh, glad, glad.
glad, glad, glad. Okay. Guys, thank you for watching. February can be a really hot month for you romantically. A nice breakthrough month domestically. And I look forward to reading your comments. Let me know what's going on. Have a great February. I'll see you next month. I love you guys. Bye.